Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, William Samuel Ruto yesterday attended a church at AIC, AIC Milimani, Nairobi County. It was a total shame and embarrassment as the congregation boycotted William Ruto's visit. You will be shocked because if clearly you can see the photos coming from AIC Milimani, Nairobi County, you can see the chairs are empty. What is the signal of this? And even forced the reverend to come and intervene on behalf of the church. That this was the first service and so many people were not attend the service. The question is, when the president is coming to visit a church, this is something that they usually announce before the church. And if the president is so much loved, you will see many people attending that church. Leave alone even the members of parliament that will escort William Ruto. Leave alone the CSS. Leave alone even the state house staffs, you know. Leave alone those who usually organize when president visit that place. But as you speak, even I've listened to a reverend from that church coming out to show a signal that it was a total embarrassment and it was a total shame for the congregation not attend that service where William Ruto was going to be part of. I want you to listen to the Reverend complaining about that and even Anafunika too, just covering up saying that this was the first service but next year we hope that people will be full in this church. I want you to listen to the video. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder. At the same time you watch the video, ensure you like the video. Let us listen to the video. Blessing. And we are very, very, very grateful. Even this service we have said by next year, to Kimungu Agitza idea, he first service it aqua full. Who have the same faith like me? Let's appreciate the Lord for that. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. On the same note, we are having a bold reverend called Tony Kiyama coming out to correct the church that our Walikosea, they made a big mistake of declaring this government of William Ruto as godly. But according to his perspective view, this government, Niyamashitani, you cannot tell us that this government is God's government. But now, they are busy squandering the public resources. They are busy fighting themselves. They want to impeach each other. Then you call them the government that was chosen by God. So Reverend Tony Kiyama is putting a church on a notice that what we did was typically wrong. And if we are not going to follow the right path, then the same same thing that happened at AIC, Milimani, Nairobi Church, is the same thing that is going to happen to several churches across the Republic of Kenya. Because the congregation are tired about the politics that is being played on the church. And it is serious. This is something that is very serious. I want you to listen to Tony Kiyama. I think it has come to a time where our church elders, our church fathers have to come to a place of just basic acknowledging that to Likosea. What we did was wrong. And I want to speak to my 
elders respectfully because they are our church fathers mulikosea what you did was wrong this is not the government of god it is not we shall know them by their fruit the bible says that we shall know them by their fruit and for sure there is no fruit of god here the bible says the devil comes to steal kill and destroy john 10 10 and i repeat the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and this government has stolen it has killed and it has destroyed the economy so for sure because we know them by their fruit Mr. Jaita mtu shetani, nimesema, Bible ina sema. Kwa sababu mu sema kidogo na tunapata shida nyingi. Bible, the Bible says, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. But, that, that's what the devil comes to do. That's the profile of the enemy. And this government, sincerely speaking, nasiku wone ya mutu, they have stolen they have killed and they have destroyed the economy ukweli so for sure hapa hakuna mungu hapa hakuna mungu alafu sasa the government of god wanakosana na mmoja anataka kufukuza mwingine But whatever ha happened at AICC, it is clear indication that even those who thought like this man William Ruto is their savior has come out, failed them badly. But in se several scenarios, you can see that William Ruto used the church for his presidential bid. You saw many times he was having fundraising, millions of money, dispatched on several churches across the Republic of Kenya during his campaign period. And you can clearly see whatever happened by that time. But now, how will the church distance themselves from this mess? Yet themselves, they came out anointing this man as someone who has been anointed by God. And if you are not going to elect him, if you are not going to install him as the president, you are going to fail your country. But now, he's the president, sworn in in the office. Immediately, he took over the office. Kenyans are crying. Starting day one, Kenyans are crying. Till death, it is all over. It is almost over two years. It is almost three years, if I'm not wrong. The man has changed nothing. He said that is this is the government of Asaras, that this government was going to be for Mama Mbogas and Boda Boda. We never knew that this government was going to be for Mama Mboga and Boda Boda people like Musali Mdavadi. No. People like Ali Suahome and several others in the government. So it is very clear that the man, no one wants to listen even to him. He wanted to come out and divert our attention with the impeachment motion of Rigadi Gashago. And today, Kinamuramba Pole 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 Pole. He thought like people will come out and join him, see, Rigadi Gashago must go. But he has, he has realized it late, as now Kenyans are seeing Kufa Makanga, Kufa Dereva. They came together, Walikuja Pamoja. That is what William Ruto is now experiencing. It is not a matter of joke. William Ruto is facing it rough in state house. In fact, those who advised him to impeach Rigal Gashago, they are now seeing the limelight of the consequences 
they mounted on William Samuel Ruto. Simply like that. So you can see how now congregants can decide not to attend the church service where William Ruto will be. If it was earlier on, you could see the church is full. The church is full, even some people standing outside. But today, William Ruto is just someone who no one wants to listen to him. And even those who are welcoming him are even making more mistakes. William Ruto should be just as normal as those who are coming out to attend the church service. Akai Apokatikati is a president. That is why sometimes you can see other countries. They usually don't tolerate this, the so-called government. Where kuja kanisa ka uko katikati? No. In fact, I have a church in Eldoret that if you are a member of parliament, you are MCA, you are a governor, akuna siku watatoa hawa viongozi mbele hapo ya church, viongozi hawa church, ati watasasa watole wa ambiwe mkai nyuma, ama impisu wanakuja, magovernors wanakuja. Mm -mm. I have a church in Eldoret, when you MP ukikuja church, kaa uko nyuma. Ama kaa katikati, kama alipopote. Lakini hapa mbele, mm -mm. Wewe utakaribisho tu salimie watu politics hapana ukae chini. Kama wewe president sometimes back William Ruto attended that church. Well, he was the deputy president. Alikaa huko katikati. That church is serious by the leadership that they have. Because when you accept such kind of politics to be part and parcel of service of the church, then you are destroying the church. In fact, the church should be neutral. But there's something that you usually say, but the church doesn't listen to it. So today, when they are welcoming and uh, inviting William Ruto, no one wants to be part and parcel of that service. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Because of your great support, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.